Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video here to talk about Grand Blue Fantasy Relink, which has officially dropped on PC a couple days after its initial digital PlayStation release. It came out on the same day physically on PC that it did on PlayStation 4 and 5, the, but the digital PlayStation 4 and 5 release was early access, so people that are playing digitally on PS4 and 5 are a little bit further along than people that are playing on PC, but... I started playing it on PC, having a really good time with it, really enjoying the game. I'm still fairly early on. The game isn't super lengthy, like I'm blitzing through these chapters in, the, uh, in this game, but unfortunately the game does have some issues on PC and I've certainly noticed some issues myself. I played the game on my PC, played it on the ROG Ally as well, and uh, while it's certainly playable on the ROG Ally, you certainly have to uh, tinker around with the settings a little bit, but they also put out a post on the known issues, so let's go through that. We're currently investigating the following known issues listed below. We appreciate your patience as we work to address them. Online multiplayer issues, some instances of games crashing during multiplayer, receiving network connection errors when departing on a quest, rewards issues when a player clears a fate episode quest by restarting from a game over. If the player then continues on to another quest and unlocks a new quest difficulty, the rewards for unlocking that new quest difficulty may not be given. After getting the message about rewards for unlocking a new quest difficulty, if the player closes the game without saving, those rewards may no longer be obtainable upon reloading. Side quest rewards may not be given when playing on ultimate difficulty from chapter select. We're working on an update that will allow affected players to obtain the rewards they should have earned. Steam issues also note the game may not run properly after launching. We sincerely apologize for any convenience these issues may have caused a thank you for playing grand blue fantasy relink so a bummer that these issues are uh, apparent. Now, uh, those issues are just what's known in the Steam community post, and that was from yesterday. I have experienced other issues. Now, performance on my PC has been relatively good. I have it maxed out 1440p, and I'm getting a solid 60 frames per second. So, like, that's what I'm aiming for, and I'm getting that no problem. That should be expected. This is a cross-gen game. Like, uh, it's visually, like, I like the art style of the game, but it's not a visual juggernaut by any stretch of the imagination. Um, I did have one one crash at the end of chapter three, I want to say it was, yeah, the end of chapter three boss fight, it was either the end of chapter three or chapter four, one of those, it was the end of, it was the boss fight, got into a cutscene, game crashed, had to redo the boss fight, that was a little annoying, but, uh, what can you do? Was it the end of the world? And for the most part, how many hours do I have in the game? I'm about five hours in the game right now, and uh, it's been running fairly well, all things considered, but definitely not up to the standard as some of the better PC ports, and uh, certainly not up to the level of, you know, the visuals aren't anything to write home about. Again, I like the art style, but it's a fine looking game. On the ROG Ally, I did have to set it to the standard uh, visual setting and then I dropped it to 1600 by 900 and then there were still some frame rate dips on it. Um, you're looking at more of a consistent 30 frames per second experience if you're looking uh, to play that game on the deck or the Ally. I'm sure like you can mess around with it. The thing is, if you lock it to 30 FPS, you're going to get a more consistent frame rate, but then if you go over 30, the frame rate's going to be all over the place, which I know people don't like. Um, you can also limit it to 40, which is probably the more ideal route to go. The performance was at a level where I just wanted to, I, I just rather would play it on my uh, PC. Like, um, you know, like a Dragon Infinite Wealth, I'm doing a combination of, of playing it on my PC as well as my ROG Ally, but like a Dragon Infinite Wealth is also a turn-based game. This is a fast-paced action game, and, um, Let's talk about the game itself, because I think the game itself is fantastic. I'm really, really enjoying this game from a gameplay standpoint. The one criticism maybe I can make is that it's a little bit easy. It's actually really easy so far, but um, I am doing the main story content, doing some of the side content. I have heard the post-game content is where a lot of the challenge does come from, but... um. Yeah, so far, the game has been pretty straightforward and easy to go through. However, the gameplay itself is so stylish, so flashy, and, you know, I'm a simpleton. If you got some flashy anime battles, you know that that's going to be right up my alley. And with Grand Blue Fantasy Relink, those flashy anime battles are, uh, are very, very well done. Like, some of those boss battles are really, really captivating. And then the soundtrack is great. Really has that over-the-top anime feel to it. And when it comes to an action JRPG like this obviously that's what I'm looking at a little bit of depth to the gameplay as well with the different upgrades and whatnot again I'm still fairly early on so a lot more to do uh, I am not a big fan of how you are just thrown into the midst of the story but they do have the journal where it has a lot of lore and whatnot and you have the fate episodes that give you backstory into the characters as well you have a full party right out the gate you have to have your main character the captain 
in the main story, but you can uh, tinker around with the other three slots and utilize different characters. And uh, it does have online co-op as well. So if you do want to play it cooperatively with the side quest, you can do that as well. But overall, really enjoying my time with the game. It's $60 though. Like th this game is not being sold on any other retailer, which is a little bit of a bummer. Hopefully side games. I know they're still new to publishing PC games like Grand Blue Fantasy Versus versus Rising. Those are all still relatively new releases um, within the last couple of years at least. Versus was a 2020 title. And really, Relink is one of their bigger uh, titles where this game is doing exceedingly well from a commercial standpoint by the looks of it, but it would be nice if it was available at a GMG, you know, get 15% off or so, and I'd be promoting that, but unfortunately that is not the case. Now the game again, all-time peak player count doing very well, peaking at 85,000, which I would say all things considered 85,000 for a game like this is a really, really respectable number, um, given that, you know, it's an IP that still hasn't completely popped off and it's like the first major JRPG of this series. I know Versus has been a thing, but, um, you know, as far as this style of game, first one, to give you guys a comparison point, Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth peaked at 46,000, while Persona 3 Reload, which I get is not as fair of a comparison given that that's on Game Pass, I think peaked at, as I'm recording this video, I want to say 45,000, um, which those numbers are good for those games, but Grand Blue Fantasy Relink at 85,000 is really, really good. I know now, like, uh, the standard has been set by, like, Pal World, and Pal World peaked at, uh, what was it? Pal World peaked at 2.1 million for its all time peak. Yeah, no, most games are not gonna hit that, but Grand Blue Fantasy Relink at 85,000 is a really respectable number, and you're talking about a $60 game, you're talking about a game that, um, you know, is of a new IP, at least an IP that is. A newer to the Western audience, and it's doing fairly well, and one would think that the majority of the audience would be on PlayStation 4 and 5, but it's doing well on PC as well. Hopefully this sets the table for another Grand Blue Fantasy title. I know they're going to keep this updated. New characters, raids, all that good stuff will be coming uh, in the future, and I don't know how much they're going to be invested into this game as far as updates go for the long term. We'll see six to nine months from now where it's at, but Man, I feel like there's a strong audience. I feel like a lot of people that are playing the game are enjoying it. Obviously, the PC version could use some uh, work, but hopefully they'll get that ironed out and what we'll get in a little bit will be much better. But I'm enjoying my time with it and certainly, uh, you know, $60 is always a little bit hard to recommend when it comes to uh, games given that there are so many games at a far cheaper price point. But uh, enjoy my time with it and definitely got to sink more time into it. But uh, what I have played so far has been good outside of, you know, a minor crash, and then also uh, some of the performance issues on the Ally weren't great, but I'm sure I can tinker around with the settings on that a little bit more. But that's going to do it for me. Let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.